Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week I am using the Playful Go Stamp Set. This is an online exclusive. You'll only find it online. Um, I'm making treat boxes, treat packages, if you will, for Halloween. And this one is a really easy one. It actually holds something called Kit Kat Ghost Toast. I mean, you have to use these, right? They have ghosts on them. They're so cute and everybody loves a Kit Kat. So we're gonna make this, if you don't wanna use these, other candies will fit in here just fine. There are three dies that you're gonna need for this. Um, I'm using this tag right here from Merriest Trees. Um, then I am using the second largest uh, nested essential stitched rectangle. And then um, the tiny little banner from the Stylish Shape dies. Okay, well let's make our box first. Why don't we? First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is cut out two basic black tags, okay? Then get a piece of basic black cardstock that is five by four and a fourth. On the long side, we're gonna score it at two and three, and then you're gonna turn it and score it on the short side at one and three and one fourth. All right, now grab your supplies. <laughs> and get your bone folder. You wanna burnish those lines. This is gonna be hidden mostly. You're not gonna see this little box. We're going to sandwich our tags on either side of it. So don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, on the long side, snip these score lines like that and then cut off the corners from those square tabs, right? Turn it. And again, snip and cut off those corners. All right, I'm gonna use liquid glue here. You can use tear and tape, you could use uh, Stamp and Seal Plus. I'm putting adhesive on the outside of those square tabs and then I'm folding them in and adhering them to uh, the inside of those other, the longer tabs. Either side is fine. Now put the glue on the inside part of those remaining side tabs and fold them over. You're just kind of hugging it like that. All right, so it's a really simple, simple box. Then get your glue again. And we're gonna put our tags on there. Um, line up the bottom like that. Okay, and then flip it over and adhere the other tag. My little circle didn't come out, there we go. Like that. So that is just your basic construction. Now if you wanted to change the colors, change the stamp sets, of course you can do that. I'm gonna set that aside to dry and we'll make our little tag. Um, we're gonna stamp this cute little ghost that's popping out of the pumpkin in memento black ink and um, I'm using my alcohol markers that are called Stampin' Blends. That's why we want to use the Memento. So stamp him right there in the middle. And then we're gonna color him. I'm gonna start with my pumpkin pie. And I'm gonna use my light pumpkin pie Stampin' Blend. And I'm gonna very carefully kind of go along the outside with my bullet point end. You have a brush tip and you have a bullet point end. The bullet point, oh, I just got out of the lines, but typically I find that I stay in the lines a lot better with that bullet point. All right, so go around and then we're just going to kind of fill that all in. Be careful around the eyes and the mouth. My problem is I'm always rushing and when you rush, you make mistakes like getting out of the line. All right. Very carefully, we're gonna color the eyes and the mouth with Daffodil Delight. So we, it needs to, this is a darker color than that, so we don't wanna get out of the lines or you'll be able to see it. All right, now I'm gonna take my dark and I'm just gonna go around the lines like this and around the bottom too. Okay, just staying on the edge of each line. Get 
that bottom like that. And then I'm going to take my light and I'm just going to blend it all together. Okay. Now let's do the same thing up here at the top. Notice I'm just leaving my lids off my markers while I'm switching back and forth. I find that's just a little bit easier. All right, so a light coating, and then I'm gonna outline those lines with the dark, and then just color that in. All right, we are done with pumpkin pie. Let's use our pecan pie for the stem. And then we'll get our Daffodil Delight and color in those eyes like that. Super cute. Now, I have cut out this um, basic black small stylus shape banner. And I cut it out ahead of time just to kind of reduce the amount of things I have to do for you on the video so it's not super long. But you might want to stamp first and then die cut. It's a little bit easier. But I'm going to go ahead and do it the opposite way. I'm going to die cut and then I'm going to stamp the boo in Versamark. And you won't really be able to see it yet because it's a clear ink. I'm using my embossing accessories kit. I've got my reverse tweezers. I use the um, embossing buddy on it that removes any static that will hopefully hold on to those little crystals where we don't want them. And then you can take your uh, paintbrush and just knock off any that do end up sticking. Sometimes they do. All right, and then hit it with your heat tool. Hold, your, hold it with your reverse tweezers to keep from burning yourself. And then we're just going to take a dimensional and I think I'll put two dimensionals because it looks like I kind of bent the paper a little bit. We want to flatten it out. I'm going to put that right across there like that. Okay, let's bring back our box. I have a piece of um, our new Halloween paper and I'm just going to use it I'm going to kind of center it here. It's one and three fourths by eight, I believe. And I'm going to pinch the edges like this. And then pinch these edges. And pinch. That way it's going to be, it's going to match those edges. So once I do that, then I can just take my adhesive. This is, it looks like a belly band, but I'm not really, it doesn't need to slide off. So I'm just gonna, let's to go around, let's start this way. So I'm gonna adhere it. All right, wrap that around and adhere it end over end like that. And then you can kind of repinch those, those creases to match the edges of your box. Okay couple of dimensionals and we'll put our little guy right there. Let's put in a couple of Kit Kat Ghost Toast in there like that. And then I'm gonna take my uh, very vanilla and black large check ribbon and we'll tie a bow and that's it. You've got a cute little Halloween treat. Let's see, I'm gonna shorten that up because I don't wanna waste too much ribbon. Shorten it up and then tie it. It'll keep those candies in there from sliding out. There we go. And then let's get our scissors and cut the ends at an angle like that. There you go. Pretty easy treat for Halloween. All right, make sure you check my blog. Uh, hop over there from YouTube. The link is in the, uh, the description. There is a full PDF there with supplies and measurements and a complete supply list, as well as two other um, ghost 
playful ghost projects for you. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Happy Halloween. Bye-bye.